Washington Fondo is a plane of water. They hit the water flat ground. They hit the water. They were too low. Now on CBS 2 News at 5 and streaming on CBSN Los Angeles, developing news. A small plane slams into a Pacoima neighborhood, setting cars on fire and killing the pilot. Well, that plane was approaching Whiteman Airport when the pilot alerted air traffic control he had an engine problem. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Now federal investigators are looking into why. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal live now on the scene with what we've learned so far. Jasmine. And we are learning some new information, Jeff. You can still see the wreckage of this small plane, a Cessna, behind me here on the street. We can tell you that the FAA is here on scene, and the NTSB will be here very shortly to investigate what led to this crash that killed the pilot so close to the airport, as witnesses are telling us what they saw and heard. Yeah, 911. Witnesses watched as a small plane burst into flames this morning after it crashed on Sutter Avenue directly in front of the runway at Whiteman Airport in Pacoima. Whiteman Tower, 439. We've got a lost engine power here. We're going to try and stretch it to the runway. Okay, 439, uh, Roger. Runway is clear and you are clear to land. And hopefully we'll make it. You can hear in this audio from the control tower the pilot calmly describing engine problems as he approached. The plane crash landed just feet away from a home and caught two cars in a front yard on fire. It was super dark. Everything was black. Tires were flying everywhere because of the explosion of the cars. Jasmine Hernandez was driving toward that very street when she says it was an act of God that caused her car battery to die seconds before the plane crash. She took this video right after. I just saw a whole bunch of kids running, screaming. They didn't know what to do. The LAFD says only the pilot was killed in this fiery crash that also brought down electrical wires. Miraculously, no one on the ground was hurt. Firefighters were able to quickly keep the fire from spreading. Hernandez says a woman showed up thinking that it might have been her husband in the plane who died. She's saying that how she's calling her husband, but he's not picking up and it's just sending her straight to voicemail. And um, she said she has a feeling it's him because he always answers her call no matter what. Hernandez says the plane was coming in for a landing. Just look at how close these small planes fly over this neighborhood as they take off and land at the airport. Neighbors point out the barrels of flammable liquid being stored on the same street where the plane crashed. It's horrible. It's not the first plane that crashes down, so I don't even know why this, this thing's here. There's like two, two schools around the block. And we did just get in some new information from the FAA. Again, we are getting in some new information from the FAA telling me they would not confirm the pilot's flight path, but they did confirm the tail number of the Cessna Skyline. And I want to show you a picture of the plane and give you a few details about it, uh, which according to aviation records was owned by Civil Air Patrol, which is a volunteer organization which helps with emergency search and rescue and disaster relief operations. Back out here live, you can see those VWP crews still behind me trying to repair the electricity that the power is still out to about three homes and an apartment building, but people have been allowed to return to these homes. Live here in Pacoima, Jasmine Veal, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Jasmine.